the engines on the B-25 are Wright Cyclone uh, 2600s. There are 2600s. 2600 cubic inch, about 1700 horsepower, and a 14 cylinder. A, a real good match for the airplane. It's got plenty of power. It flies essentially like a big fighter. To keep the airplanes flying obviously takes a, a lot of manpower just to, to ensure the airplanes are inspected and, and maintained to, to professional standards. We, we offer passenger rides on these airplanes, so some parts are becoming a little more difficult to find, and some airframe parts you have to make your own or find, find a source out there somewhere to uh, procure the parts. So it is challenging, and, and it's just like anything else. It's becoming more uh, and more expensive to, to do. Sending the bombers to air shows today is becoming more difficult. Obviously, they, their budgets are, are, uh, have been under stress as well. And, and the, the fees that we have to charge to, to get the airplanes there and the fuel requirements and, and everything else are definitely, definitely burdensome. Air shows cannot for several aerobatic acts and whatnot. And those are very valuable acts. They're, they're neat to see. Uh, the people who fly them are, are amazing artists and, and they do a fantastic job. Uh, the one thing that I've been seeing lately is that there are more aerobatic acts at air shows. And you know, it's, it's not a, an offense. I'm, I'm from a warbird background, but uh, by looking, seeing all the surveys from, from the air show community, people who attend air shows, they, warbirds continually rank pretty high up there. And I think it is important uh, for air shows to vary their entertainment, to have warbirds at their show and to fly them and put them in front of people. They really enjoy seeing them. It, understanding that it is difficult to bring the large bombers and everything else in because of the cost requirements. Uh, that's something that we're we're uh, we're seeing. Uh, and you know, several years ago we were doing 15 to 25 shows in the B-17 and another 10 to 15 in the B-25. We're not, we can't do that anymore. It's it we can't afford to send the airplane five six hours one way and then fly it back. It's, it's very difficult uh, without charging a certain rate. That's just the way it is. Cirrus Design's Vision SJ50 single engine personal jet offers exceptional fuel efficiency, flexible seating for up to seven, advanced avionics, and all the Cirrus safety features you expect, including the Cirrus airframe parachute system. With its detailed design, the Cirrus Vision is technologically advanced, yet engineered to be simple to fly to allow owner pilots more lifestyle pursuits than any other personal aircraft. Learn more about the Vision SJ50 at CirrusDesign.com. When we get to the to the runway, get on the center line, we're clear for takeoff. You get your hand on the throttles and and you, you start pushing them up. A lot of things kind of go through your mind, uh, uh, depending on who you have in the, the airplane. If it's if it's one of the Raiders or or just in general, uh, you're, you're, I think of, of the guys who flew these into combat, uh, not just with the Raiders, but, uh, but any of the other guys who, who flew them into combat. Uh, the airplane, it, it's, it's, very, it's very easy to fly when everything is working. Uh, there's not a lot of surprises to it. It's very stable. It's very responsive for a big airplane. Uh, so, you know, you're you're always on guard for for any any emergencies or anything. But the the nuts and bolts of getting it airborne are, are not that difficult. It's got plenty of power. It pushes you back in the seat. You get rolling down the runway around 100. It, she starts wanting to fly. Gear come up, get 145, and then uh, uh, get cleaned up and initialize your climb. And everything generally works out well. Okay, we are cleared for our approach. Have our Garmin GPS set up to fly the LPV. And look, here comes the glide path. Now you're probably wondering how we can intercept a glide path when there's no ILS on the field. Well, hey, that's the beauty of WASP GPS. No ILS, no localizer, no problem. WASP gives us full vertical guidance even without ground-based navigation. Okay, next you're probably wondering why there's spit all over your side of the windshield. When we repainted the airplane, we wanted to do a tribute to all 80 Raiders. 
In the Texas Aviation Hall of Fame, we've inducted the 13 Texans that were on the raid. There were more Texans on the raid than, than from any other state. And that's obviously something that, being from Texas, we're, we're proud of, obviously. The only thing that really links all 80 men together is their emblem. Uh, I didn't want to do one specific airplane. I wanted this to be for, for all the guys, uh, all the raiders on the, air, on the raid. And so we asked uh, the Raiders if we could use their emblem on, on the, the nose of the airplane. And uh, they met about it, talked it over, and gave us the ex exclusive permission to use their emblem as part of the nose art. We retained the special delivery, which was our name, uh, that we had on the airplane since we purchased the airplane. And we are now the, the only civilian airplane in the world that will ever have their emblem on it. These airplanes are, are always on display at the museum in Galveston, and, and we invite people, wherever you see a warbird, not just ours, but any, any warbird that's out on the, the ramp at your local air show, walk by and take a minute to look it over. and Kind of imagine what it was like for, for our boys to not only get in it and fly it and take it into combat, but for those to, uh, to build it. It was an a effort by our entire nation, and, uh, and just remember what they gave us. The, uh, the airplanes are wonderful. Talk to the pilots. They, that's what they're there for, to, to spread the word about historic aviation and what it takes to keep them going and what it means to fly them. Uh, all of them are approachable. They, they'll, sign, they'll sign an autograph. They're, they'll talk to your kids. They'll do whatever it takes for you to have a positive experience by looking at a, a beautiful piece of machinery. So uh, go out and have a have a good time at your next aviation event and, uh, and take a look at your local warbirds. Uh, for more information on our facility and our museum, you can catch us out on the, you can check us out on the web at www.lsfm.org. Uh, we have a, a nice website you can take a look and get some information on the rides, our aircraft on display and, and some other info on the Texas Aviation Hall of Fame.